Hey everyone, it's What's in the Box Wednesday and we have a super special one because literally just arrived. We've just pulled them out of the bags. It is the Liberty Lawn Collection Spring Summer 23 Beauty and Chaos. So we got, I think it was 41, 41 fabrics from the range. So I've got my list here to tell you what each one is. So let's delve straight into it. So we're starting off with this first pile here. This is called Amalia Tulip. And we got it in all three colors, A, B, and C. And it's a beautiful print, this one. And look at the other colors there, the pinks, the yellows, the greens, and then the brights down the bottom. Beautiful print. Then the next one is a Betsy Boo. So I do love a Betsy. And then this one is just a little bit of a larger Betsy which is very delightful, again, in the free colors. Next pile is Briny Ray. So we've got that one in the blue and the pinky color there. So a nice simple floral with the stems in the background on the white, very lovely. Then we hop over to Claire Rich, and we've got that in A, B, and C. So a very dainty little flower there with the three different color backgrounds. So it really looks cool on the white here. You can really see the flowers and the little bulbs going on as well. Very pretty. Next one is called Ditsy Dot. So I would call this one a nice little blender because there's a very small print on the white background there. And you could put almost anything with those in the three different colors. Next lot is Float Away. So we've got that in the two colors there. So one with a bit more of a bluey background. And then the other one is that gray, which is really cool. It's almost like a monochrome sort of colorway, that one. Very lovely. This, the next one's really cool. Follow the Sun. So let me turn those around for you. So really cool colors here with the blues, the purple, and the orange. And then with the black, the browns, and the golds in that one. Very cool print. Uh, then we have Healing Floral. So I'm actually gonna open this one up because it's quite a large print here. So you can see it better. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just the way they like blend into the background there. And then you've got your beautiful print going on there. So that was Healing Floral. Fold that up. Then we come back to the top row of the next one, which takes us to Kazora. So we can see here, it's almost like got, um, I'm not sure what sort of feel that is. A bit of a funky floral in the blue and the pink. And then it actually pairs beautifully with the ones next to it, which is Lottie Swirl. So again, a nice bit of a blender action going on there. Small prints, great use for small projects. Then we go to, uh, 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 let me get my paperwork. Missing a page. Uh, Megumi. And we've got that in the two colors there. And again, quite a lovely floral here. It's got, it's almost like a meadow sort of vibe going on there. So you got the traditional sort of colors, and then in the blues, which is really quite cool. Next lot is Melamphia. So this is a bit more of like a fantasy sort of floral, especially in the dark background there. And then with the light one there with those pretty cool colors going on. So a bit more of a different floral shapes. Then we go to Ordinance. And I think this one has to be one of my favorites from the lot here. So your monochrome going on, and then your cool colors over here. So that's a really cool print. I think one of my favorites. But I think the next two are my absolute favorites. So this one is called Pattern Map. So you can see it's got all sorts of things going on. Should we open it up? Let's open up this one bigger. How cool is that? So it's one of those ones where you keep looking and looking and seeing more different things going on. 
Really cool. I wanted to get more colorways, but Michelle didn't let me. So that's called Pattern Map. And then this one here is a Plantropolis. Because in the background, so you'll notice it's like buildings, and then it's all plants growing out of them. So the plants are basically taking over, which is just really cool. Really fun idea, that one. Then the next two is... Uh, Rolling Hills. So this is giving me really Japanese vibes here. Especially with the beautiful red and the blue. Just like the hills, the prints. Very lovely indeed. All right, next row. We go to Poppy Day. So this is in the two colorways here. So that green with almost like a pale pinky background. And then the bluey purple with the peachy background there. Then we hop to seashell, she sells seashells. So the classic tongue twister. Again, in the two colorways, your very seaside vibe with the blues and the tans and the sand. And then a bit more fun with the green, the peach and the yellow there as well. Then the last two fabrics we have are Sun Speckle in the three different colorways. So again, great blenders and different colors so they'll match in with all sorts of things going on there. And then to finish it off is Survival. So a really cool, almost like a navy. I don't want to say black. I think it's like a dark navy. And again, the more you look at this, the more you see. So we've got a bee here, then we've got a little bear poking out, and then whatever that guy is, a sand true, a tortoise, a rhino, and then let's go back down here, is a tiger. How cool is that? Very cool. So that is the Watson box for this week. Hope you had a lot of fun. I know it went for a little long, but that's okay. There was a lot of fabrics to get through. So if you want to get some, it's all online or come in store before some of my favorites disappear. So we'll see you all next week. Bye everyone.